Hello guys, they use headphones for this particular video. It's very important, vital video. Most of this has been asked by my subscribers. So let's begin. I have been teaching dental students for many, many years. So today I'm going to teach you how to do Viva for BDS students. What to include, how do you answer, how do you face the examiners for this particular uh, upcoming exams or any exams you have. It holds good for any universities, remember that. So let's begin now. How do you answer human anatomy viva for BDS first years? I am t actually teaching in the Rajagan University of Health Sciences, but it, as I told to you, any university anatomy cannot be changed. So the question is going to be absolutely same. So just go through this 15 minutes video. I don't make a long, uh, prolonged videos which might bore you. I have lots of my videos which are quite famous in the YouTube. My BDS subs spotter videos, part one, part two, and part three. I will leave a link below. You please do go through it. Almost 10,000 views combined, 14,000 views I have for that. Also, how to guess BDS question paper. This also has very much popular. Uh, subscribers as well as followers for that anatomy as i told you it holds good for any university as for the dci remember and we do not have except head and neck we don't have any other portions there is no new organ there is we don't have a play store in an update button so sit back and relax and see this particular video so how do you answer this anatomy cannot be edited remember that it can never be uh edited okay and uh, it's unedited since 1 bc your seniors the mds faculty sitting in your college is also seeing the same have seen the same viva and we have asked the same questions i'll and i'll tell you every internal secrets here you can do very well and you're going to perform this examination uh very good so if you understand use mental gymnastics to pass this viva that's very important for you you score good marks in viva that will give a boost uh, to push to the other subjects very easily and you can follow my other trips and tricks for utilize for any other department physiology dadh and the future second year third year and fourth year vivas so uh, do subscribe and share this video. Let's start. Anatomy is only head and neck minus neuroanatomy as with DCI. I have got complaints from some students in Kerala as well as in UP as well as in uh, Gujarat that they use even thorax, abdomen and include neuroanatomy in Viva. But if you can go to the DCI website, it is only head and neck minus neuroanatomy. So they don't include anything else like that. So keep this in your mind. It's only head and neck minus neuroanatomy if they ask some questions uh, from that it's like um, all the best how you're going to do performance there it's like up to you so simply simply simplified speaking it's only head and neck for you read go through it osteology don't miss it first read osteology completely the skull bones mandible maxilla to be in detail depth and then you're going to follow with the other bones and you also see my video on how to differentiate between right and left uh, skull bones okay i'll leave a link below it also is very important for dental students and this anatomy is going to meet you in second year third year fourth year see there are typically two examiners are there unlike mbbs where we have four there are about practicals generally we have um, gross practicals for 15 spotters for two marks holding good for 30 histo spotters for two marks for 10 and 20 mind you this can vary in other colleges your college might be quite different this is what is a standard followed by Rajagan University of Health Sciences in Karnataka and uh, the practicals the two examiners will be there one will be your internal examiner or one will be an external examiner so you need to take uh, extreme care how you present yourself towards the examiner this is the first part of the exam try to do the spotters well 50 marks at this not 90 marks you're gonna pass these exams very soon and almost if you do very well all the spotters as well as histology you're gonna clear almost 45 40 marks here so this is the first time the examiner will actually meet you through the paper you try to do very well do not leave any spotter think about it it's very easy spotters okay and the histology spot also the same slides what you've been taught to you in first and second and third internals the same thing will be kept here so this is the uh, pattern of the examination they will have cross discussion one external and one internal histo slide discussion where you need to draw the slide and one internal and one external obviously the internal will try to push you external this is very important because the external examiner who's going to take the master viva at the end will meet you first here 
one time in the gross anatomy uh, discussion is going to keep a specimen ask some pertaining questions related only to that and then histology we have some particular questions related to the slide try to make the easy slide show to the uh, excellent examiner and the difficult slide try to show to the internal examiner if it is allowed in your college or uh, both systemic as well as generally slides will be given pick up and don't do blunder of missing the slide here and if you leave a blank remember the excellent examiner who doesn't know you he will think that this is this guy is dead and uh, he's going to repeat the same less marks even though you try to do the viva very well in uh, the master viva so here give it give a best shot don't discuss with your friends especially when you're standing for gross specimen uh, uh, discussion don't discuss with your friends you're supposed to discuss you're gonna get the topics of tongue paranasal ear sinuses triangles of neck scalp parotid gland on easy topics which have been studying it from their theory exams so after the exams don't uh, you know jump off master by one remember the examiners might call you in between also as for the rules they have mandatory 30 minutes break after each examination so that's very important for you to understand so if they call you in between god hold good to you because you're gone that time because you'll be tensed and you don't even get a chance for you but this doesn't happen in most of the occasions this happens only rarest of rare when the examiner has come very late or it's gonna be like something he has to go and this is the last year of the examination and you belong to the fourth batch of your last batch and you're in the last uh, number this is exceptions not particularly so uh, you have a labyrinth of problems. Read any book. I would go for BDC. I'd be seeing Dutta, Grace, uh, concentrate on osteology, 10 marks for Viva. In Karnataka, it's 20. So cross anatomy for 10. So holds good. This, I want you to by heart the osteology part. Most of the students forget osteology. Read about the frontal bone, parietal, loccipital, temporal. Identify them. The examiner is going to first ask you the bone. First question will be identify the bone. If you fail there itself, he's not going to pronounce you. It's going to, you know, I'm gonna promote you by asking you more and more difficult questions if you cannot differentiate between a frontal and a parietal bone there's no point asking about anything great questions related to that and so don't you blunder here try to do very well and uh, answer it like you have to uh, make a difference it's very easy to differentiate see my video again I'm not promoting but I'm just telling you that this is a very simple method and if I the maxilla mandible go through it mandible are the most of the questions of maxi and mandible ask for dental students and um, read the entire osteology about it and gross anatomy obviously I'll be telling you some topics which I'm going to concentrate for viva that's if you read that you are absolutely doing very well and uh, you're going to do more and more better so next is the important thing for you is understand the muscles attached to these bones what are the foramens and structures passing through them that's also important and the, these are the favorite topics temporal infratemporal fossa everything in that muscles mastication tmj maxillary artery a mandibular nerve salivary glands all the three don't leave sublingual don't give a step motherly treatment for that facial structures all the muscles the oculis the middle ear muscles of the neck the sternocleidomastoid trapezius and platysma pharynx uh, tongue everything in the tongue don't leave anything here triangles these are not the difficult questions for you i understand but the contents of the triangle the boundaries keep in mind posterior triangle the digastric triangle it's all very important questions come there they'll go for the carotid triangle a favorite of favorite because the carotid artery is there and its branches so the questions come like that now what are the boundaries of carotid triangle okay next what are the contents okay what about the excellent carotid artery what are the branches if you are going first gear second gear and third gear fine they will just send you out because who knows the student before you your friend must have done very bad the examiner is quite pissed off so he will be quite uh, you know he'll be if you give him that relief package and he will be quite happy and he that boost him to give you more marks to or at least uh, uh, 18 or 19 combine of course with your internal examiner so do very well don't smile don't uh, do all that uh, laughing method and as i've told to you um, anything I've left here scalp, I've left here the uh, lateral of the nose, read everything. This is the favorite, first finish this, okay? Don't ignore the stellar apparatus, don't ignore anything. Don't argue with the examiner that I have studied in that book and this book, it was correct. And saying, you are, don't do this, you have four years, sir. And saying, your job is to just move on to second year. You, you're gonna, when you enter the exam hall with your BD choice are keeping outside that's a lost time you have entered the hall remember that like that don't ever try to come back argue with the examiner and when you're sitting for the viva before being called don't ever talk with your friends never do that this is one humble request to all the students okay don't ever do this particular thing 
uh, read everything these are the uh, favorite topics larynx also is important okay sometimes the questions may go below these stairs so they may ask you something about neuroanatomy and other things so I mean like how you're gonna do it like it's up to you how you're gonna do very well there if you have studied about especially the cavernous sinus the nerves the facial nerve the glossopharyngeal nerve the trigeminal nerve the hypoglossal nerve these are the favorite nerves okay the trigeminal facial glossopharyngeal hypoglossal so here are the questions of course when they ask the extraocular muscles they are asking you about the other nerves which are actually been um, uh, such as the uh, abducens nerve about the ocular motor as well as optic nerve uh, generally, if we, I, I request you something very important here for the students, especially um, read everything. After the theory exam, you tend to relax and you think that the exam is over and we are like completely free birds. No, you are not going to do that. I mean, you're going to read everything. Important topics don't be tense. Don't ask the guy who is coming out of the viva what question they are asking. Yar, chalo, batao, kuch to batao, yar. What they are asking? Never do that. That guy who is going to be you or anyone is going to lie. Obviously, I mean, he's never going to tell you the truth. Ninety-six percent and the ten to lie or manipulate and they will tell you this he's asking this and he try because he did his viva bad he wants you for some reason i'm not happy i can't see you happy don't blunder in osteo don't use a word oh my gosh shit, i forgot so sorry what's the uh, uh, structure coming out of the phalamin um, you know malacerum oh shit, i forgot don't use these words okay don't act smart don't use that whatsapp small languages like tmj and uh, uh, this thing you know what tell what you know don't dunk go don't get dunked asking too much telling too much as if you were your red tongue and that tongue was asked you know you just vomit or do a oral diarrhea and tell everything that means you're inviting trouble for more questions examiner asked you it's like an it's like a vacuum chamber you, you have a gas chamber you finish your viva get the hell out of it i'm saying don't stay put there and don't try to impress he's not going to give you more than one mark two marks if even if you go on um, you know barraging about your knowledge about that particular the topic which luckily came to you so uh, just don't do that answer perfectly it's smile see down and go out do all your uh, jumping and uh, jolly and hop skip and jump outside the department not here this is very important don't laugh and enter the exam hall don't smile this all irritates the examiners they are pissed off they've been conducting viva from past three four days perhaps or they've been conducting exam every six months in academic year so i want you to just um, do it simple pass out you may be whatever to the internal examiner right? to the external examiner at least please put in you know a sheep face not a wolf face this is also very very important information most of the viva in youtube you can come across there is not a single viva i quote it on this uh, may the 14th in 2020 there are not a single viva related topic video is there so this video is just made to you make you uh, calm down before the exams i presume june or july or whenever your state exams are coming up do read up and this and, uh, points are almost uh, okay am, am i right it holds good even for your uh, other chapters also like your physiology biochemistry in your future and uh, who knows anatomy with the first exam you do anatomy as i told you before only you will get a boost of confidence to do physiology tomorrow and day after tomorrow dadh you get this blue format what i'm showing you right now you will do very well absolutely fine and uh, mm, you're going to do very well exam. That's what I'm going to say to you here something. Additional points telling you, etc. Like will be, uh, um, don't think that you're going to fail. Just you have done theory bad. So, oh my God, anyone failing, let me just fail blunder. I'm going to viva. I'm just going to uh, argue and come back because I know what I've done in theory. Don't do that. Who knows? The theory evaluation was very easy. Don't be super excited. If you have answered the first part, keep calm. If you have answered the osteology, right? Keep calm. Don't talk in the exam. Huh? Carry a neat apron. Be healthy, guys. Especially the guys. Coom very well. Go very, you know, like a typical uh, Gandhian look. Don't go with the spikes and stuff. Carry a tweezer, a single glove if you have been asked to. Or whatever has been told by your intellect examiner follow that and say thank you and don't tell all your sad stories if the question is asked we oh, are not answering sir my grandmother expired i'm going to kill your grandmother from the school days you're killing your grandmother and grandfather don't do that and uh, just nobody's interested in your tragedies okay don't even no one is interested in tragedies and stories what you've been telling you're going to do very well it's aim is you have studied 
you have done uh, try to do very well theory of you have done very well practicals also you're gonna do well don't take it as secondary and we will go, we are just gonna pass out it's just in you know I'll just a cakewalk nothing is cakewalk there are records here where people have failed in practicals past in theory you write let me ask your seniors who are studying in surgery and medicine they have told you this so don't ever do that have an avatar you know the avatar one avatar in your college and one in the examination all the best for you my best wishes for this exa examinations for you any doubts please subscribe and uh, do share my um, this video it has helped you use a headphone hope i'm not too loud i'm not i'm too fast i had just 15 minutes okay i'm not speaking anything new i'm just giving you some motivation topics um, take care do very well and um, a very very goodbye